perfect. Man, that girl, man, I just, man, this is what she want right now, yo. I, I, every day, this girl is in a blog every day for something negative and people judging her like that. Yo, look, that girl don't even read comments. Mm. She, that's one thing I love about her. Sometimes I, I've just gotten to the point where I can ignore comments and not go through them. That girl, you will never see her. Right. Shit. Never. <laughs> She's Beyonce to that. Because she know what she going to do at the end of the day. Okay. She know she's not going to do. I had a hard life coming up. And I got all these talents and gifts. But I'm living my life right now. Mm. I lost a two for this. But I got this nigga Ted. Yo. Look. She ain't, ain't nobody love her like that. So she think that's love. That's not love, Krishan. That's. That's not love. Like, that gets me very emotional every day. Hey, my queens and queens, it's your girl, Queen Rose, and we back at it again today with another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you could be alerted when I drop another video pertaining to one of your favorite celebrities or YouTubers. Now, come on in, come on in, come on in. Enjoy the family. Enjoy the family. Come on in and join the family where you will be welcome. Open arms and your thoughts and opinions are always welcome in the comments down below. Where it will be respect on my end as long as it's respect on your end. So let me get into it. Now today I'm going to talk about Chris Sean and Blueface. And just Hilarious. Now just Hilarious as... I seen she got an emotional talking about Chris Sean and Blueface situation. And she felt like, you know, people out here every day posting her, every day, you know, promoting her while she going through the struggle with her man. And, you know, as we see going back and forth, she said that's not love because, you know, this girl's always in the media for either him and her fighting him or her going back and forth he's disrespecting her she disrespected him the list go on and it's never in the media for a good thing i can agree i'm gonna agree with just hilarious because the girl got a second tattoo of this man's face on her neck i see people putting their boyfriend's name or their girlfriend's name on them you know i haven't seen yet someone around me put somebody's face on them but i just see names and everything but personally i'm gonna say this i am not going to tattoo my husband that i'm married to for 20 plus years Okay? The man I'm married to, I am not going to tear his face on me. No. I'm not. Not once or not two. And it's, you know, to each day on at the end of the day, but I'm not going to do it. You understand? I got, I ain't going to came and got it the second time around. You feel me? She got the second time around. Like, baby girl, what is you proving to him? What you got to prove to him? What you got to prove to him? You already got his name on your, I mean, his face on your neck. Shouldn't that be enough? At this point, what did you prove it to him? And I feel she's doing it as well as she's young. But the issue with Blueface and her, like, blue, I'm going to sit here and say, Blueface do not love her. That's not love. At the end of the day, how he cheats on her, humiliate her on media, and they both going back and forth like like they in a boxing ring. 
that's not loving for the people promoting it and the people egging it on. Shame on y'all. Because ain't no, it's okay, like, every relationship, yes, we all go through our trials and tribulations into a marriage, into a relationship. We all go, you know, we all got our time where we argue with our partner for the little things whatsoever. And that's, that's in a normal relationship, whatever. But when it comes to the point where it's getting physically, y'all getting physically in it, like, physically in it, like, y'all in a boxing ring, to the point you black in his eye. To the point, you know, I don't know. I, y'all could refresh my memory on which one exposed it. The, the um, somebody exposed it. One of them exposed each other's sex tape. I don't know, or something sexual. But I did see the one on Twitter with him and her was having sexual intercourse, and I don't know who put it out there. I, I don't know who put it out there. That's why I need my baby's help to refresh mama memory. On who was it? But at the end of the day, no. But y'all do privately intimate with each other. That's not to go out in public media. And that's y'all. If that's the freaky shit y'all on, more power to y'all. But when it comes to physically being abusive to one another and just every day they're on the media for some type of clown shit someone needs to pull her to the side and pull him to the side and have a deep talk because that girl is lost that girl is lost she lost herself it's something deep within that i feel she's like hurt by and the love and the love that he gives to her she thinks that's love. She thinks that love, like he could say anything he wants to say to her and she'll come flying back to him. She'll scissor her way right back to him. And that's not, because the way they keep on going, she could end up hurting him or he could end up hurting her. And social media ain't making it no better. And the friends they got around them is no friend because a real friend will tell you to the motherfucking face to get your shit together and stop your shit. Even if they stop talking to you, but I'd rather be a real friend than a fake ass motherfucking friend. I'm not going to be that friend cheering you on when you're going around doing dumb shit. No, I'm going to tell you when you're doing dumb shit. I'm going to pull you to the side when you're doing something stupid. Or when your man is in front of me trying to lay a hand on you, you trying to lay a hand on your man. No, y'all not going to do that shit around me. Because I'm not going to go none of that shit. I'll tell y'all, get y'all shit together and stop acting like kids. Because no one deserves to be in no type of physically, verbally, mental, mentally, mental, whatever y'all want to call that, relationship. It's a form of respect when you're in a relationship that you have for each other. And the way I see those two, there ain't no respect for either one. He don't respect her. She definitely don't respect him. They don't respect each other's family, especially the mom and the dad. They don't respect the family. They don't. And it's something more deep within their childhood. Something, something, something wrong in their childhood, someone felt them in their childhood that they act rebellious now that they are an adult. It's the same way Blueface, when his, the baby mom said the baby can't have no phone, he said, well, he can have a phone, all kids write on the wall. You write, all kids do scribble, scrabble on the wall, but you're not going to continue to allow a child to do that. Because you're going to think it's right to go around scribble scrabbling and people walk oh, when you start to take them. No, you got to, you know, she's not hitting him, but she's disciplining him. So he won't do it again. But you're overruling it. So it's it's a kind of form of mommy say, I'm not allowed to do this, but daddy say I could do it. It's no form of understanding and come to a compromisation when it comes to, you know, disciplining the child the proper way. 
he has and she has they both not one both need some growing up to do both needs to go see some type of therapy some therapist to fix their childhood the trauma childhood or something within them for get her right right on the right track because if you look at her and you look at him they are spiraling out of control and media is not making it any good it's just making it any worse I mean, making it worse. So I'm going to say on my thoughts and opinion, I agree 100% with just hilarious. And it's not about, oh, she's young, whatever. No. I was 21 years old at one point in time. And I knew when it was time to act my age. It's a time and place when you act your age. Yes, we do dumb shit while we're young. But when we know we do that mistake, we don't continue to repeat that same shit over and over again. We don't. Let's not continue to define age all the time when people do some type of shit or some type of mistake. We're not going to do that. Because if they're mature enough to, to take alcohol and drink, smoke, it's, you know, smoke whatever they smoke, whatever those two couples smoke, engaging in adult activities, they they're grown enough to know from right from wrong. Cause these two are grown enough to know from right from wrong. So we all could be young and dumb in love, but it comes upon a time where it has to be that one friend, that one family, put them to the side, even if they get mad at you, and let them know the real deal. Someone save that baby girl cause she is spiraling out of control, and so is he. Y'all better get the hold of them before it's too late. Because like I said, social media ain't doing it no good. So I, my thoughts and opinion, I do agree with Jess Hilarious. I'm sorry. I do. That's my thoughts and opinion. Each and every one of y'all have your own thoughts and opinion in the comment down below. But we can agree to disagree, but we're going to be respectful to one another thoughts and opinion. I wish each and every one of you love, peace, and light, and blessing. Know that you are you. You are unique in your own way. Never allow no one to dim your shine or take your shine. Keep on shining to the best of the top of your ability. Until then, it's your girl, Queen Rose, and I am out to the next video. Perfect.